Oh, how are you doing, brother? No, it's going. Cool. All good? Cool. You going to give us a wee interview here about your time on the course? I am. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff, lad. Uh, well, before we get into it, what age are you, dude? 19. 19. How long have you been thinking about a career in fitness? Uh, thinking about a career in fitness, probably about a year. Career right, okay. fitness, my whole life. Okay, and you were training with uh, Ram, weren't you? Yeah, I was training with Ram. Training. And I suppose he kind of sort of... That was sort of, that's what gave me the push to actually come on to the course. Um, I loved training, and when I got to him, he was like, listen, Nip, you can actually do this for yourself as well. You'd be a lethal trainer. I sat and thought about it in the taxi before. Yeah. And I didn't really know if it was going to be for me, but like, it's unreal. Like. Cool, cool. Um, what were you doing beforehand? Were you in school, uni, like what was going on? I so I was in school just when the pandemic started, so obviously school in March was my last year, upper six. Then I already applied for uni, got in, so I started uni in September. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought I had no time, I actually was like, oh, it's really busy now. But then when you put it in perspective, you have more time now than you've ever had because of the lockdown. So it's like, I have to go for the jump, I have to go for it and pay it off. It. Gotcha, gotcha. What are you studying at uni? Economics and finance. Right, so okay. it's, it's different than this, but I feel like in the future it'll help me with the business side because it is quite businessy. Yeah. And you learn all about managing your own personal finance, business finance. Nice. Um, so, okay, oh yeah, that, that'll that'll cross over for sure. Um, so I suppose you already answered the question. Uh, I was going to ask you, like, what were you a bit apprehensive about before coming on the course? So I suppose it was just managing your time between here and uni. It was managing the time and then also the investment. But the amount of not even just from that, I've had other people who have done the course that know who says yes and yet. Don't worry about the money, you will get value from this course and we're only we're not even halfway, I don't think it and it's unreal like the amount of audio. Nice, nice. Uh, was there a point where you realised you had made the right decision coming daily? I would say the first or second day. The first day like the environment set out from the start, like about the unconditional love, no one, everyone's welcome, everyone's accepted. It just sat out from the start. And you thought you'd be nervous talking to people, but we all literally get on like best mates now. Brilliant, brilliant classmate. Um, what's been your biggest takeaways from the course so far? Definitely like on, a, about, on a personal level, yeah. About movement quality. A lot of people want to go into the gym and just start lifting weight. I want to build muscle, but don't actually have the prerequisites, as you say, to do certain movements. Mm -hmm. And you need to build your movement quality, because when you do that first, your strength will increase far quicker. Nice, nice one mate. Um, last question, uh, if there was a young lad or now, 19 years of age, uh, probably at uni, considering doing the course, like what would you say to him? And also who would you recommend doing the course? I would say, I would say go for it 100%. I was in your shoes, I didn't know if it was worth it. I can tell you now, it is 100% worth it. And it's only 10 hours a week. Listen, you probably spend 10 hours on your phone. Or like that. <laughs> yeah. Use the time, invest, invest in the course. It's, it's definitely for anyone who's interested in fitness and wants to make a career out of it. Nice one, brother. Thank you.